So I'm going to be showing you guys how to use virtual desktop, like what you can do with it, why you would want a virtual desktop, and we're going to be playing around with remote play for the PS4, and I'll even show you how to get that set up. Um, he's taking it down, um, but PlayStation, uh, they're going to be releasing another v um, remote play program pretty soon and that's expected to be released in their next update. However, um, I've had it for a long time now, so um, I decided why not use this. You're using the remote play function for the PS Vita. That's, that's, the, that's the workaround that this guy's put in. So you're going to go into settings. Remote play connection settings, and then you're going to add a device. I'm already using it, but it's going to bring up an eight digit number. You got to um, write down and then you're going to go here to PS4. You're going to register. Then once you register, you put the uh, information in there. So um, with that out of the way, um, that's that's just to remote play from your PC. And if you can get a hold of this program, it's not hard. Once you have an Oculus Rift, it's going to be coming out soon at the end of this month. You can pre-order it now and it'll start shipping. I also recommend looking into other headsets. They're not bad. They're all roughly the same. One in particular I am looking forward to is Star VR. That's a 4K resolution headset. Actually more than that. All we got to work with right now is the DK one. So let me get into this program. It's called Virtual Desktop. You download it from Virtual you just Google the virtual desktop. Once you have it, it'll just open up like this. It'll have a different background like this. You know, you look around, it's got this whole, you know, whole environment. And it's got a few of these. The one thing I like what this guy did, he added a new virtual environment creator. You can just add an image. And with Photoshop, I added a desk, desktop, which is all glass. I keep hitting the mic. Uh, but you look around and I just threw together some pictures I liked in Photoshop, added a reflection on the, uh, on the ground, you know, um, this is actually from an anime called Five Centimeters Per Second. Uh, I'm going to show you what you can do with this program and I'll show you real quick. This is a home theater, which brings you into a home theater and right, you can see how interesting it is it's pretty sweet it's not bad you actually feel like you can touch this stuff here I love it it's the best so I'm gonna bring it back to this because it's just I spent a lot of time working on this you can even make 3d environments and I'm gonna be playing around with that in a while however this is your um, screen field of view you can wrap it right around your head and as you can see, it's pretty, uh, like right around your head, like all the way around. But that is so uncomfortable. You could actually make it feel closer to your face. And the 3D, it changes the focal range. And it's just, it, it doesn't really change where it's placed, but you can feel the difference. So, right, um, we're going to push that back. This, this is key, by the way. Let's say you're laying down. You just want to be comfortable and whatever. You can just reset the orientation so it's on your face. So just imagine laying down, you know, or even on your side, you know, just laying down. Just, you know, you want to get comfortable, whatever. One key thing to activate this, you need the floating thing or else it's just going to stay on one axis and you're not going to be able to play around with it. You're going to have to have an understanding of that this is a virtual space. Your your body needs to be aligned properly. For a lot of people, you're going to mess up your equilibrium. Once I take this off, after like being on my side, I'm going to be so dizzy and so disoriented. So you have to take your time. You know, don't just jump in and do shit. You're still allowed to have fun. You can do stuff, but just be safe. You can add an on-screen an anamorphic. So if you have any games that there's a program called Tridef, and what that does is it 
injects information into the game that tells it it's going to display um, one angle on this side of the screen and another angle on that side of the screen. So it's going to be side by side. And what you're going to do is once you have it launched up, you're going to use that. And it's only displaying one eye right now. It displays them both at the same time. So your eyes are looking at both. Once you have the games up, the 3D is spectacular. So I guess I might as well jump into some PvP and I'll show you guys what it's like from my perspective. Now, one thing I might add, Destiny doesn't support 3D or anything like that, so it's just it's just a screen, like just a large screen. It's just plastered on my face. It's it's, it's still overwhelming. I'm sure that the hype would wear off after a while, but I mean, it's a lot better than just watching a screen. Right. So, let me talk about the DK1. Essentially what it is, it's just two screens that are uh, put together here and you've got two lenses that are looking into the screen. And the pink, the, the pixel dens the destiny, density is uh, pretty low. It's um, 680, or no, 640 by um, 800. So that's rotated. You've got a vertical picture that's creating a full horizontal field of view and that makes up for a total of 1280 by 800 and that's 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 fine like my only issue with it is pixels are are bigger so a lot of the text you're gonna see is blurry so I can still read this but there's probably a lot of people out there who who couldn't so their field of view would have to be bigger so they are releasing the CV1. Um, DK2 is already out. I'm using the DK1. The DK2 has a 1080p resolution. So that's 1280 by 1080, which is really nice. Like that would be a super huge bump up for this. That's my only, that's really my only issue. Everything else is just fucking awesome. Of course, we've got Destiny here. It's, played and streamed in 720 you can't really change that it's not terrible like I mean it's a ton of fun I'm not really sure what the weekly rotation is but yes yeah, so we're gonna hop into PvP I'm gonna equip some some shit here I do not like some of the weapons that they released here let's go dual shotguns yeah, scrub a dub dub. No. Nope. Hey. You dick. The dungeons. Too bad it wasn't on the rift. Dreadnought. Rings of Saturn. Okay, hang on. You can piss right off. Alright. So, um, this stage here, this is from the Dreadnought. And the Dreadnought is a ship that's extremely huge. It's, it's probably the size of a moon probably bigger oh man okay right so there's a lot of tweaking here you need to do all right so it's yeah capture the capture the zones okay yeah I should have I should have started playing around oh my god So my field of view needs to be a little shorter, like that, and that's fine. Like that's probably your ideal like comfort zone for this because you can see all the text, you can read everything, everything is, is accurate. Um, so oh god, I'm just gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Shotguns, let's just fuck, let's just shoot some people. It's still entertaining, like, I'm getting wrecked and I'm not all butthurt about it. It's great. Because I know there's a lot of getting used to. And see, if I could look around, like, if the whole screen was 
the bigger and I still had this size of uh Oh man, okay, I gotta stop talking. I gotta focus. I was I was in his face, man. Oh my god. Okay. Everything is super fast. Here, let's try that. That's... That's actually a little easier on the eyes. Now that I think about it. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I am gonna need an escape though. So, let's go here. Take this piece of shit off. Probably. Graviton forfeit. We're getting racked, duper racked. I'm not okay with this. Okay. Yeah, see, I need distance. There we go. There we go. That's. It's a little better. There's no radar! Okay! Wow! Okay, that's... that's... I didn't even notice that. That's great. Okay, well I... I took him out, at least. So, the goal of Destiny we are basically in the crucible. Guardians come here and they practice and hone their skills to get stronger. You know, they kill each other to get stronger because everyone's revived by a ghost. Their own ghost? What the hell is going on here? Let's take that guy out. See, if this was 3D, it'd be, it'd be a much more comfortable experience. This is why you should always... You feel the space. You feel... Um, like, you're more aware of what's going on around you, where this is, you know, just a shitty video being streamed through, uh, remote play. For those of you who want to get into it, it's, it's still, it's not bad, you just gotta really get used to it. Do I want to use that right now? Yes, I do. Oops. Woohoohoo. And I gotta switch up my sensitivity. So what I'm doing is I'm going to decrease the field of view just a tad. And there we go. Feels a lot better. Shit. Shit. The shitty quality. It's so bad. It's so bad. One thing I would like to see is a more PvP oriented game type for like for the story at least. I th I think Destiny really needs something like that. Um cuz I don't know, I enjoy PvP, but I'd like to see more of a a story with it. Like imagine fighting players who, you know, you can team up with Shax and he comes to the battlefield with you and you gotta like fight other players who are teamed up with another character that's just introduced and they're fighting together or you fight each other lots of drama and bullshit people fighting for territory whatnot just kind of waiting for new content i guess everybody is but um i like this shotgun i i can never really um do anything without it cuz I was just I mean that last match I just got wrecked but that's fine that's okay I'll 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 get better with time yeah one other thing I miss my my cloak of the Jesticars. it's the best best cloak ever you got to really farm for stuff there's a lot of doing that the other thing you have to take account for when streaming is uh latency and 
how fast your internet is. So you gotta have a pretty good connection to do this. It's it's all LAN, but but yeah, like three megabyte upload speed is plenty. It should, well, it should be plenty for this. If you want to stream, you gotta look more into like five and ten megabytes. Right. Right. <laughs> Fell further away. Where are they coming from? Good. Oh, one thing I should mention with the remote play, you can't use mouse and keyboard. It's absolutely terrible. I don't know what the guy was thinking, but as you can see, my mouse is constantly on the screen. And whenever you move it off the screen, it just gets laggy. Like, it's it's laggy to, to, to begin with. To actually move with it, um, it needs to be receiving a constant value. So... Where's my... there we go. Okay, so, um... Fuck. What are you launching? What? Shut your mouth. It would appear that it wanted to launch something, and... There we go. Okay. It wants to load Star Citizen. That's fine. We will get to that later. Right, so Virtual Desktop has a voice... You can use voice commands. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys a 3D, uh, like just a 3D game, not just, uh, not just Destiny. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know I kind of like loosely threw everything together, but it kind of gives you guys a sense of like how, how you're playing a game in a virtual environment. And you know, I've got desk stuff here. You know, I feel like I could really draw on it. You know, do some. Art, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy your the rest of your day. Take care.